Is it the same, like, scene almost each time? Oh, the returning to, to Alex yeah. animation? Yeah. It's 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 the same one okay. each time. So, um, time freezes for Alex, sort of, when you're in, when you go to a chapter. Like, that's why her sword is still glowing, because... Right. It's almost like instantaneous. Yeah, because her. yeah, because like we. Did only... someone knock? Yes, that is an effect. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm like, uh, it really who's gets there? in your head. So we're going upstairs, and there's a dresser that has a green triangle on it. So hey, cast reveal invisible of the. Ooh. Dominant alignment, and there's. Of course, we still need the dresser key, but then that was like one of the first items we picked up in oh, the game. Oh right! Yeah, it all comes around. Full circle, man. Yep. Oh. And we've got a revolver and a page. A tattered page. Yes. Tattered. They're somewhere. always tattered. It's so it seems. No one really takes good care of these pages. Now, is the book made out of flesh, or are the pages made out of flesh as well? Interesting. I would get... The guardians hmm. have located the heart of Mantarok. Yes, located with me. I'm not sure. As we suspected. It shall be retrieved at once. Be wary. The power of Mantarok lingers still, corroding the universe around us. Hmm. Oh, are all the demons... <laughs> do they all, um... Have feminine voices? No. Or Only just... Zelotath. Okay. Yeah, Zelotath has female voice actors, and Uliath and Chaturga have male voice actors. And in fact, it's fun, Uliath's voice actor is the same voice actor who voices Pius, so he's basically talking to himself in those scenes. <laughs> which is which is entertaining. Well, he lost his sanity. Um, <laughs> and does he look the same in all of them? No, each of them looks different. No, I mean each of them. Oh, Pius. Um, yes, he looks the same except the color. Like he the, yeah, except the the color, the okay. tint of yeah, of his magic. But yeah, he's always a skeleton witch guy. So now she saw that. Um. I, I'm not sure the if we're supposed to was think from all walks of life to all what, parts what, what of the we're, world, what we're supposed to think she's their aware of. Damage. Okay. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardians. I mean, so she's were... definitely aware of this and what happens in the yes. chapter, but maybe not those satellite scenes. Radar images yeah, I, I don't know. Like if I, I don't know. I, I really ought to in the have an opinion. After all the time I've spent playing this game, but I'm, I don't know. I, that's interesting. I'm gonna wait until the end of the game for me to form my opinion, right? Or for me to form my head canon at least on which I think it is. But I thought there might have been a definitive answer. Other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine. A collector of rare oh, items um, who professed an interest Gee, that in name couldn't be relevant. I guess. Um, are all of the the After a riddle, two -week venture, book chapters and Augustine related to some sort of Lovecraft book, or only some of them? Temple. Short Lovecraft oh. story, I should say. Oh uh, no, only some of them. Like, for instance, this one. Um, so we're Indiana Jones now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> how you doing? We're just yes, Indiana Jones it now, has to be. It, and it's and set in the 80s, so we get now, guns that are useful. Satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. <laughs> Who does he look like? Who does he, he look looks like? like um, well, well, what's his face from from Raiders? Um, Arnold Todd. I love it. How did they get away with this? <laughs> it's, you know, I guess it's loose enough. He's not, you know, named Indiana Jones or anything. Does anybody's face melt off? 
No. That would be great. That that would be great. And probably going a little too far. Maybe. He doesn't have a lasso? It's, it's no. No, yeah, no, 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 no whip. That would be fun, though, if they found a way to, like, make a whip work. That would be neat. Right? Although I'm not sure how that would, like, be useful against zombies. Because it's not, a, like, a cutting implement or smashing implement. That's true. <laughs> You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be Oh, he's team. pious. Yes. Who did he think he was beforehand? I was too busy marveling at oh, um, Indian Jones. He was attention. a he was a guy who was financing his, you know. Whoa. Yeah. Um Edwin Lindsay was going to explore you know this temple in Cambodia, but he needed funding and pious that was do gave him the funding as a front so that he could kill him. This guy is a gatekeeper. Um, okay. the gatekeepers, when they're folded in like that, like when their wings are folded in, they cannot be hurt from the front. When they open their wings, you can uh, attack them from the front, or you can just run behind them and hit them in their back, and that'll kill them. Like so. Uh, they can hit you with their wings, um, like a physical attack, or they can also summon um, zombies. zombies. So they can also. So it's a guardian, kind of. And it's it a similar. Magic. It's a similar kind of thing. I mean, those are specifically our gatekeepers. Oh, okay. Yeah, these. Oh, so guardians are a specific. Th yes. Monster. Oh, okay. I thought you meant. Yeah, the the less, lesser guardians, and then there's greater guardians, which we'll get to later. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, no, a guardian is a spe is that specific type of. Of monster. So yes, we got a cookery. Yep, we got ourselves a knife. No, no whip, but we we do have a knife and we do have guns. We have a pistol and a shotgun, and it's and they're useful and it's fantastic because this is things this is set in the eighties now. The eighties were a wonderful generation. <laughs> Look at all them guns. And we have another torch. Torch is always nice. Um, and a unique part of Lindsay's chapter is that, um, as you see, there's a, a brush that we can use. There will be some uh, times when there's, like, dust or cobwebs conspicuously covering some place, and we need to use the brush to reveal the item underneath. Okay. So. Um... Yeah, yeah. Lin Lindsay is sort of after after the the exercise in horror that was the last chapter, mm -hmm. with you be suddenly becoming paranoid about every single place in the mansion. Um, this is the fun level. Yeah, this is Lindsay is just kind of a badass and actually not that intimidated by. It's just so like, eh, I'll just shoot it. Well, as long as it's not snakes. Man, if they had like demon snake enemies or something, man. <sighs> I'm telling ya. Nintendo, call me. I got ideas for <laughs> for a sequel that, you know, can actually, you know, get off the ground and would not lose funding due to bad developing decisions. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time to... The, the, is this the weeping face? The screaming faces? Yep. Oh god. Screaming face four. You're like and walking on those faces, them. dude. And every one of them is sort of perpetually um, the scream. It reminds me so much of a... Um... What dreams may come, but a oh, scarier, yeah. more horrific version. Yeah. So, guns with zombies have to be headshots. Uh, no. Um, you can... No, that's a good point. I just, I always aim for the head just cuz, but like... Cuz I know you said you could aim for different body parts. Yeah, I think if you... I mean, I think, like, if you shoot them enough... In the torso, 
they'll just die, like, especially, like, for z most zombies. And, like, some of them, like, Chaturga zombies, which have all the extra health, one headshot will not kill it. You need to shoot their head repeatedly. Okay. And then you probably still need to shoot their torso. So here I am, uh, discovering spells that I've not found the spell scroll for yet. Okay. Uh, and I'm not... Uh, I'm gonna show them both off this chapter. This is gonna be a spell-heavy chapter. Uh, this is, in fact, this is a long video. This thing, I think, is my second longest video. It's like 45 minutes. Um, but what I'd cast it right there is the shield spell. Oh, shoot the trapper. Um, no, the... don't like them. Nope. I'm sorry I keep making up my own names, but those are replicators. <laughs> okay. They... <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Oh. So, as you just saw, so there's... The shield spell takes the form of glowing balls that circle you, mm -hmm. and when they're around you, like, as you can just see, I start off with three, because it's a three-point version of the spell, so it's... And you were hit twice. And I was hit... Yeah, I got two points of damage from those swinging blades. It's like it's like the red shells in Mario Kart. Oh, yeah, actually. When they're circling you before you shoot them, if something hits you, they just bounce off. Yeah, and it's... And, I mean, the handy thing about the shield is also it negates... It, it, it prevents you from taking damage, but more than that, it prevents you from getting a damage animation. So, like, it won't, like, you won't, like, like normally, like, an enemy hits you and you have the you, the recoil right. animation for when you get hit, but with a shield, that doesn't happen at all. Okay. And right there, I just use up the last ball trying to attack the the damage field around the horror. So, we can't, can't get to that guy just yet, but we will. How do you get through an enemy's damage shield? Uh, with the Dispel Magic spell, which we are about to, to learn. Awesome. A lot of spells. And in fact, this is the video where um, we get to... It's a lot of... A lot. This is... This... Uh, the, the Angkor Temple is, is all about putting different necklaces and bracelets on different statues. That's just entirely... This, this isn't the same temple as the one There's the one w with Elia, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yeah, this is just, you know, now years we're revisiting. Later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just a few. Naga. Yeah, I know. I just I can't help. Yeah, this is the weirdest puzzle. Okay. Um so what do you have to do? So like pick up the bracelet, right? Yeah, yeah pick up the silver bracelet. Door's shut. Okay, that's and not a good sound. That thi that thing Give shoots it back at you. and it shoots darts at you. You just put the metal bracelet on. Okay. So it's a another indie thing. What you take happens? off the one thing and you put the other the thing on it. <laughs> what happens if you put the regular bracelet back? Well, then you like if you put the silver bracelet back, then no, you're, you're just, just saying, not like, progressing. Because... Say you're you're playing this game for the first time. What would give you the clue to put the metal bracelet? Um, the fact that you have it in your inventory, and like if you try to progress, you will notice. Like, it, when you examine statues, um, to, to see what, like, bracelet and necklace you need to put on them, like, it'll say there are flecks of silver or gold okay. or, you so know, whatever hints. on it. As it's not just, like, a guess. Say. Yeah. So, like, on the f first try, you might well... Uh, oh, okay. Many bad guys. On the first try, you might just put the silver bracelet back. But then later on, when you need the silver bracelet for later, you'll be all like, oh, I guess I need to... And then you already have the metal bracelet in your inventory. Right. From before. Okay. Yeah. We don't need to do any of the the candle lighting puzzles this time. Can you? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you can only activate that stuff when it's a part of the puzzle. Okay. Okay, so see like that statue to the left there. Yeah. It'll say flex of silver, silver. metal. Gotcha. The wrist and neck. 
So if you didn't have it, you still had the metal one, you just go back and trade it for the silver. Yeah. Yeah, this is... It's kind of a shame. This is the second and last level in the the Angkor Tom Temple. Okay. All the other, like, there are three levels plus the interludes in the mansion. Mm -hmm. Three levels in the cathedral in France. Mm -hmm. And there are four levels in the the hidden underground uh, temple in the um, in Persia. Yeah, let's enchant the shotgun, baby. And then, as we'll see, dispel magic, and that gets rid of barriers. Now we can Booyah. blow this asshole to hell. Well, <laughs> first that happens. So you don't lose sanity while, the sh while his shield's up? Yeah. Just an, an interesting, an interesting touch. So there's the silver necklace. So you bring it back to that statue. Yep. But yeah, so it's kind of sad that there, there's only the two levels in this temple. Mm -hmm. Everyone else, uh, all the other the lo other locations get more, but especially since this temple's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you go sleep now. Oh, or not. With their glowy green eyes. Yep. Yeah, I don't remember actually if I if I mentioned this before, but whoop. Um. But yeah, like when you shoot Zelotath zombies, heads off. They have, like, phantom heads that, you know, those are the, the ones that are just green and sort of translucent. Um, and that same goes for the, like, arms. Um, uh, and if you... Um, uh, and... So they, anyway, they regrow, uh, or they, they still have phantom limbs that can only do sanity damage. Okay. Because, the you know, normal attacks will, they can just, they can do physical damage, but... Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I was trying to do just there. Oh. Yes, I'm trying to heal heal myself. Let's see. This chapter, though, does have the first of the the secret hidden things in the game. And I mentioned there are two like secret optional unlockable things. Mm -hmm. This the reason this video is 45 minutes long. <laughs> it does not take that long to play through the level normally. But it does when you involve the backtracking. Oh, oh god! Um, when you factor in the backtracking that you need to do to uh, to unlock the the special thing, so that'll be that'll be fun. Hmm. Well, there's a shiny thing there. I want the shiny thing. Hmm, but I want the shiny. Mm -hmm. So all we have to do, we just need to step on the pressure plate. That guy will turn away. That statue, creepy statue will turn yeah, away. Yeah, I was gonna say, please don't blink, please don't blink. Uh, no. <laughs> That's all I need is for like, the statue to blink. Yeah. And then it just turns back slowly, and it's just a matter of you have to get back to, um, you have to grab the thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's not... 
<laughs> that looks like it's on the screen. It does. No. It. I know. No. Oh, that's this is my. This is the worst, and I mean I like it, but like, it's the worst because ugh. No, I don't. Mm, yeah. I genuinely thought that was on the screen. Yep. That's that's the intention. Excellent. And there's like, more of like, them. No. Yeah. Like. Uh, no, thank you. No, make your stuff. Like it's, I love it. Like that's perfect, but. But no. Jesus. <laughs> you love it, but you hate it. Is this like poisonous green gas, or is it yes. light? Yes. Okay. It does slowly deplete, and you can't oh, cast I see it. Yeah. magic. So um, you just have to run through yeah, it. Yeah. Oh god! Oh no! I'm almost gonna die. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Holy <laughs> Simo! So you can cast unlimited revival until you run out of magic. Yes. And you just replenish magic by running around. Yes. Every okay. step you take refills the bar slightly. Um. Hmm. Don't need that yet. Um. So the first step of unlocking the, the hidden thing is dispelling all of the, the shields mm -hmm. like that. So we need to, the first step is to dispel each of those uh, shields in, in each of the, the three rooms right. um, that are coming up. So now all we need, we need the gold necklace to descend further. It was so close. I was hoping that that, that the, the, the zombie would walk in right in time to get squished. By oh, the... does that happen? Yes, that happens, and it's beautiful. Hey, get off of me. Blue hit torso off. That was fun. He just nags now. I like the shotgun. Oh, the shotgun. The shotgun is joyous. Big meaty gunshot sounds. So and now we dispel with Triturga to dispel the oh, the Zolotath. Shield. It's you know, it's you know fairly rudimentary puzzles in this, uh, in this well, in this entire game. So you get game. both those rooms, and that shield will fall down. Yeah. Well, you get all three once you dispel all three. Oh, I don't... of those runes, because there's the the Triturga one is still there. Um... <laughs> Yeah, get prepared to hear that voice a lot. <laughs> I love that voice. Yeah. That's the Chaturga oh, voice. Yeah. How can you get you, Grandpa? You've always meant the most to me. Ever since... Ever since my parents died. Yes. Ever since they were killed. You've been my little girl. What? <laughs> Ominous. My little girl. He was like oh, instrumental creepy in their death, right? You you will see. You will see what the what the issue is with creepy grandpa ghost. Oh man. There there is a reasoning behind creepy grandpa ghost. Like he doesn't seem like a good guy at the moment. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, it got killed with the arrow. Oh yeah, they they the the, the darts shot at it. Yes, in a way, eventually we will get to play as as Grandpa Edward. Oh, when he, when he was a young man, back in the the fifties. So that uh. one, that one's shooting blue lightning, which depletes your magic. Yes, yes, this is an Uli Elf horror. Um.
So there. Eat it. And I just <laughs> I just keep shooting at him even after he started the death animation. I don't know what I was doing. I was ornery and low on health. What can I say? <laughs> so all I all I have to say in my own defense. I feel like that should be a legal defense. I was ornery and low on health. <laughs> Regular necklace, what? But we need a gold one. Hmm. Can you like alchemy it into gold? Not exactly. Basically, it's covered with crap, and we've got to. And it's gold underneath, and we need to. Yeah, and so that basin where we could like pull the lever uh -huh. in uh, way back in a previous room is. Where we clean it. Yeah, we, we put it in there, and then the the spout pours out acid that dissolves the 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 crud and the grime, and An then acid it's gold. fountain. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, the darts are not poison. The ones that shoot out of the walls. Are things poisoned other than the gas? Uh. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if anything that can hit you is poison. I don't think so. Because, like, the dart the dart gun that Elia had in Chapter 2 shoots poison darts, but right. that can only be used by you against enemies, so. There we go. Does this button do? Ooh. <laughs> Air quotes water. Ah, hey, a gold. So pretty. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, now we gotta go back. Yada yada. Oh God. I I am appreciative of. The fact that that the uh, that the squishers are not insta kill. It's not like you you get between them and they just immediately smush you, which right. Would so it's not like real life, right? And you know, and in this game that does not have like quick continues. Like if this were like a more action based game with more like checkpoints and stuff, that would be cool. Right. To, to get squished, but... Actually, what happens if you would, like, die right now? Like, lose all your health? Um, well, you get a, a game over screen that, um, basically just says such and such has fallen to the at the hand of the eternal darkness, and then you have to reload from your last save. <laughs> yeah, I haven't showed off the save screen. I'm hoping... There's a, there's a thing. You'll see the save screen, uh, eventually, um, in a later video. Yeah, we should speak up more. Yeah, I don't know. There's not much to say about the save screen, except that, um, if you, um... If you are in a room with enemies, or with stuff that can kill you, like traps... Yeah. Uh, you cannot save. Okay. Like, you have to be in a safe. It will say, no, it's too dangerous to save here. See, now these passageways look familiar. Yes. And that's and and speaking of, of things that you can't do while there are enemies active in the room, another one of those is use the brush to on Clear the cobweb cobweb. stuff. Yeah. Aha! And here was a mural that we um, that we could not that we did not see as Elia is the one of of them. So is this Worshipping a... um, Mantarok. Is this a different god or still Mantarok? No, th yeah, that's still Mantarok. Okay. So it's sort of, so they, you know, and this is 
before they go in a it's it's in a chronological sequence so this is the first step of events where it's you know mantarak becoming their fertility god okay and then later we'll see the same uh, things that we uh the same murals that we saw as oh yeah and in fact oh it's so dark that's better Indiana Jones. So hard. <laughs> so very like, hard. There's no way this was accidental. Oh no, no, this is okay. absolutely a, a conscious homage. This is A plus. A plus. <laughs> yep. Okay, so these are the zombies to steal your health? Yes. Yeah, and if they, they can grab onto you from behind, you can shake them off, and that's nice, because it knocks them down. I was going to say, they just did that re-dead move, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Chop, chop, chop. That one has no head. Yep. And they still swing it. I forget if I mentioned this in an earlier video. I should keep, I should keep track of what things I say, but, like, if you... If, if you're fighting them and you, if you cut off their head first, they go into like a rage mode where they they attack faster. So like them swiping, they don't normally attack that fast. Um, but, but they're they, blind. Yeah, they they're still blind until they regrow their heads. But um, bam! It really is nothing more satis- well, there's a couple things, but there's nothing more satisfying than than killing Chaturga zombies with a shotgun. Ooh, yeah. It's, it's just the best thing. And this is another one? Yeah, and this is the second one, which is- shows how just Mantrock being- you know, uh, uh, a good god. Yeah, basically patronizing the the people of uh, of the Khmer region and. What did they offer in sacrifice? Did they offer? Oh, sacrifice? It, yeah, they they just said they. I think they there was uh, crops. I wasn't paying okay. attention just now, but you know they offer sacrificial type things. But it wasn't, it wasn't like twelve virgins or no, something. Do no, I don't think there were. I don't. I don't think it was human sac- I don't walk back and look, but no, I, th I think it was typical sacrifice things. And coming up... Hey, there's the hole that we fell down, Azelia. And that's why, Azelia, you, oh. didn't, you didn't need to play through the middle um, floor. Right. Because you fell All through, through a trap door straight through. Yes, and the times since then. On fire. Yeah, just the the um, Zelatath and the Mantarok zombies, though. Yes, you'll notice a, a big old tree done growing right in the middle of this room. It had been a long time since anybody been in here. And yes, here's the first one we saw as as Elia. Elia. And note that now with Elia, the flavor text said that the skeletal demon was just like an unknown skeletal demon. But now Lindsay has already encountered that that's... Pius Augustus's true form when right. he when he sees this, so he recognizes it as recognizes it as being Pius. Paul Augustine is the guy's fake name. Yeah. He has a couple of those, I think. Well, you can't really be a successful bad guy with that one. Yeah. Alright, and so what we d just did there, we... Woo! Fast forward. Whoa! So now we have to backtrack all the way, because we just found the... Um, the... We just discovered... We, we ha don't have the spell scroll for it yet, but... You don't need the spell scroll to know the spell. Uh, we just uh, discovered the summon spell. And the summon spell, when used on 
uh, with a three-point alignment, uh, is summon Trapper. See, the, the, the replicator guys. Um, Why do you want to bring them here? Uh, because you are in control of them. Oh. Yeah. And it puts you... It is possible to accidentally release control. Like, if you accidentally press the start button, you've released control of the trapper. Mm -hmm. And that's why there's a shield around you, like, just in case. Like, it's okay. sort of... It's a way of, like, protecting yourself while you're using... While you're summoning the, the creature. So, yeah, you use the trapper to sneak through the little hole there. And then you could just... You can release control, or you can just press the A button, kill off the trapper, and then it just returns you to control of Lindsay, of right. your of the the actual player character. And they're gonna be fighting soon, so. And now we have the Mantarok rune. Yes. Which is basically the fuck you button. <laughs> <laughs> it's... There's a reason that you have to go through all this trouble to get it, because casting spells with the Mantarok alignment mm -hmm. is almost always preferable to casting them with any other alignment. Like, with some puzzles... Oh! oh what happened to all our items?! No. A sanity effect, that's what. Is oh. Really happening. <laughs> he's really happening. He's, 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 he's like a I'm doing some kind of Shatner voice or something. Yeah. Is this really happening? Yeah, like I said, Lindsay is just not that he's more puzzled than he is afraid. Like he he's He's seen the Ark of the Covenant open, or he didn't see it, but he was there when the Ark of the Covenant got opened. He ain't impressed by any of this shit. Um, so, Mantarok flavored spells um, tend to be uh, better uh, in, uh, in, in many ways. Um, for instance, um, Anything that does, ma like for instance, a recover, recovering with the Mantarok restores multiple meters. There you go. Nice. And anything that lets you do damage mm -hmm. with the spell, like whether it's like enchanting an item or, um, or later on you'll see we unlock a, a magical attack. Mm -hmm. We unlock the ability to shoot lasers basically. Um, Anything that causes attack, um, although it, it is not as strong against an, a, a, a creature as casting their direct weakness, mm -hmm. um, it does lasting damage. It does basically poison damage. Holy crap. Yeah. Um, and, and the ultimate, po possibly the most useful spell in the game... Um, is the one that I'm, I'm gonna Ooh. cast any second now. Am I, do I cast it now? Yes. Reveal invisible with the Mantarok flavor makes you invisible. No. Yeah. Traps, well, I mean... traps still sense you, but every, but enemies, mm -hmm. or there's no enemies in this room. I was gonna Enemies are played all squish, but yeah, find you. enemies they will turn to face you, and be which like... is which is really creepy. But they won't move or attack. They'll just they'll just stand there. And when you're invisible, mm -hmm. because they can't see you, you don't take sanity damage. Ooh, ooh. Yep. And it's the reveal invisible spell. Um, costs so little magic mm -hmm. to use that it's basically it's perfectly reasonable yep see Woo. hi buddy um it's perfectly possible and plausible 
to have invisibility on at all times, basically. And I mean, that won't help you against, like, bosses later on, but... <laughs> but seriously, the, the only thing that really gets in your way... Oh, and that right there was the magical attack. Right. And note the, the glowing... The, the Uliath zombie's still glowing purple, because it continues to take damage. So the only the only thing that really the only snag with the strategy of always keeping invisibility on uh -huh. is that you can't stay invisible whenever you need to use the reveal invisible spell to solve a puzzle. Okay. Because that spell overrules your invisibility. So, but even so, like. It's large swaths of the game become much easier. <laughs> oh no. Yup. Mantrox still trapped here. Does Ilya still have the heart? Uh, yes. Even though she is a, a ghost. She is ghost Ilya, but she is still in metaphysical possession of the heart. Where are you? Where are you? This place is all overgrown now, and bits of manta rock are showing through the floor. Uh, it's so uh, gr gross and awesome. Grossome. Poor manta rock. Yeah. Well, you will see. M M manta rock can take care of itself. <laughs> the power of manta rock is not easily controlled. What makes you think I want to control it? <laughs> He's so cheesy, I love him. <laughs> Kill him! Make sure you succeed this time. Oh. What? Mantarox says no. Yep. Shut down. Even sealed, Mantarox can still take care of itself. The darkness shall prevail. Yeah, sure, whatever, dude. Every villain is Lime. Well, he's only Lime when he's aligned with Zelotaf. I know. So. Don't ruin it for me, Alex. Okay. Oh, is that the door that you couldn't get to through last time, Azilia? Yeah, that you needed to solve the puzzle for, but you don't need to do that now. We did enough backtracking to get the Mantarok rune. But, you know, being a god, it takes a very long time to die. Right. Especially since it is kind of a god of death? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's a god of life and death. It's, you know, it's always, you know, two halves of the same coin. Two sides of the same coin. And there's ghost... Or, well, there's skeleton. Do not touch the heart flesh and bone. Lest there's ghost skeleton. Like me, the dead husk. I have waited many centuries for you. It was not easy hiding from the dark ones as they searched for me. At first, they passed by, not thinking that the heart was inside my dead body. But I was forced to find refuge here. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh. And take it to the gathering of light. Take the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. Hey, that's the name of this game. The veil of reality can only be pulled back so far, mortal. Take your stand. She's an awesome ghost. I like her. Yeah. A lot of the characters. Well, yeah, a lot of the characters return as ghosts in some form. And that's neat. The and there's the heart. We don't know what he wraps it in to take it out of the temple, but... <laughs> it's in like a Beauty and the Beast glass case. It really is. 
And now he gives it to Alex's grandpa and he's out. <laughs> he pieces the hell out and he is the only man he is like, who is, he is the only one of the chapter characters who is definitely still alive. Well, we don't technically know that this was in the 80s, but like, he's yeah. still alive. 